Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is the Memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows, an appreciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary's unique role in the passion of her son, led Pope Pius VII to extend this traditional devotion to the whole Church in 1814. Our Lady is the preeminent example of how to live with suffering. She reminds the faithful of the malice of sin and shows the way of true repentance. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called his mother to share in his passion. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called his mother to share in his passion. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called his mother to share in his passion. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called his mother to share in his passion. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Let us adore Christ, the Savior of the world, who called his mother to share in his passion. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Let us Let adore Christ, Christ, the Savior, Savior of the world, who called his mother to share in his passion. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Let us Let adore, adore Christ, Christ, the Savior, Savior of the world, who called his mother to share in his, in his passion. passion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us adore, Let us adore Christ, Christ, the Savior of the world, who called his mother to, to share in his, in his passion. passion. Be seated. My soul clings to you, Lord Jesus Christ. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than in life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night. For you have been my help, in the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us rejoice that we have been made sharers in Christ's passion. 
Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above heavens, bless the Lord. All you host of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. It has pleased the Father to reconcile all creation in Himself through the blood of Christ. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be in their lips and the two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in feathers of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who will that when your Son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering. Grant that your church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received, and in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you, as of first importance, what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, that He was buried, that He was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, and that He appeared to save us, then to the Twelve. After that, He appeared to more than 500 brothers at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, last of all, 
as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. For I am the least of the apostles, not fit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace to me has not been ineffective. Indeed, I have toiled harder than all of them, not I, however, but the grace of God that is with me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach, and so you believed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. You are my God, and I give thanks to you. O oh my God, I extol you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Please stand. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. What we are celebrating today, the Memorial of the Lady of Sorrows, can only have the fullness of meaning kapag ka laging nakakonekta to what we celebrated yesterday. And ano nga yung pinagdiwang natin kahapon? The triumph of the cross. Kaya nga kung makikita nyo po, no, hanggang ngayon, nakalagay pa rin yung krus at saka si Maria na nasa paanan ng krus. No, magkasama lagi yan. Hindi yan pinaghihiwalay. No, yung sa gospel passage na binasa natin. And I'm very sure that when Mary was there together with uh, uh, the women no, uh, there at the cross, at the moment that Jesus was dying, mahirap i-associate yung salitang triumph doon sa pangyayaring yun, doon sa image rin na yun. Mahirap siyang ma maintindihan na victory o wagi, pagiging wagi. It's something that is that that particular image three, that particular event is always associated with sorrow, with pain, with suffering, with iwanan. You know? Sapagkat nawala na yung mga apostles and disciples niya at uh, naiwan na lang si Maria and then the couple of women there. And then the beloved disciple. You know? It can be associated with that. You know? Kaya uh, it's something that is uh, uh, what they call this a very sorrowful event, a very painful event. 
not the triumph, not a victory. But that particular event is very meaningful on, uh, to all of us on several level. Una, uh, it is actually telling us na sa madalas kapag ka gipita na, kapag ka in times of difficulty, madalas ang naiiwan lang sa atin yung mga totoong kaibigan. Di ba, no? Kapag ka good times, everything is okay, uh, you have a lot of friends. They know you by name. No? Uh, they orbit around you. No? They're always there. But sabi nga nila, malalaman mo lang ang totoong kaibigan kapag ka sa panahon ng kagipitan. And in that particular uh, event, that's actually what happened. It is telling us that when these things would come, and it would come, meaning to say sorrow, pain, suffering, challenges, difficulties, ay part and parcel ng isang buhay kristyano. Hindi po yan nawawala. Kaya nga yung krus ay laging bahagi ng buhay natin. At yung krus ay pinapasan at yung krus ay mabigat. No? Kaya bahagi yun ng buhay. Kaya yung pagka naging krisyano ka, expect already that there will be a cross in your life. And it's good that to be warned always with that kind of reality na bahagi ng buhay natin. No? You know, uh, growing up and then also during our formation days, our professors would always remind us of one thing. Hindi madali ang buhay. Mahirap ang buhay. Ano yun? Parang naging mantra yun. Parang paulit-ulit na lesson. It teaches us to soldier on. It teaches us that there will be difficulties. It warns us that there will be times when we're like Mary, we will be left alone in front of the cross. But with the cross. No? And always the promise that at the end of the day, there will be triumph of the cross. But when you are going through those difficulties, mahirap. Kaya, katulad ng mga andi dito ngayon, I'm very sure no, that what I am talking about is something na napagdaanan nyo na. Something na na-experience nyo na. Kung sino man yung kaibigan mo na inaasahan mo na sa pagkakataon na dadamayan ka, siya pa yung wala. Yung mga kaibigan mo na pinautang mo, <laughs> hindi pa nga nagbabayad, pero sa panahon na ikaw naman ang gipit, hindi mo rin mahagilap. Hindi mo man lang matawagan. Wala. That's what happened to the Lord. And that's what the image re, uh, tells us and reminds us. Uh, there will be suffering. Mahirap ang buhay. Learn to soldier on. And at the end of the day, that the meaning of triumph becomes really meaningful. Anong una? Pangalawa, remember also in the gospel that we read today that it was at the foot of the cross that Mary was entrusted to us and that we were entrusted to Mary. In a way, Mary was given to us to take care. Alam ko, pag pumunta tayo lahat dito, pumunta kayo dito lahat para merong hingiin sa Panginoon sa tulong ng mahal na ina through the intercession of Mary. But in the gospel, there is something that is very beautiful there. And what is that? That Mary was also given, entrusted to the disciple to be taken care of. To be taken care of. Alagaan. Alagaan. And uh, how do we take care of Mary? How do we take care of our elderly? How do we take care of the mothers who do not have anyone to take care of them? In the gospel that we read today, we are also being reminded of that obligation, of that responsibility. And the cross would always remind us of that kind of responsibility. My dear friends, may krus, may krus sa buhay ng Kristiyano. Mabigat, maraming pagkakataon, mabigat. May suffering, may suffering. Mahirap ang buhay, mahirap talaga ang buhay. But do not forget that what we celebrated yesterday is a triumph of the cross. And the Lady of Sorrows, the memorial that we are celebrating today is very meaningful sapagkat alam ni Maria, alam na alam ni Maria na ang sorrow na pinagdadaanan niya ay nakaangkla doon sa pagiging wagi sa krus. May we, at the end of the day, 
learn how to carry our crosses, walk through the difficult path sa buhay natin, carry it with difficulty, with heaviness, but with hope that at the end of the day, we will all triumph by the grace of God. Kind you all stand. Together with Mary, who knows what it means to suffer, let us pray to God for those who have heavy crosses to bear as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are heavily burdened by sorrow and trials may find peace and comfort as they reflect on the sorrows of Mary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may accept the sorrows and sufferings of life and discern God's presence in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the example of Mary, we may be patient in suffering and persevering in doing good works, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in the midst of difficulties and trials in our everyday lives, we may discover the true meaning of Christian life let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and development of our country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Host Holy Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer through sickness may find in Mary a true refuge and consolation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Join me also in praying for all those who have asked the prayers of my community, of our Dominican community here, who have asked uh, to intercede for them through our prayers, that the Lord may continue to reward them because of their generosity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all grace, your plan for the world surpasses all our expectations. Keep us trusting in the power of your saving love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for to the earth work of human hands it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for to the divine work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devout mother when she stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the memorial of the Lady of Sorrows. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sahana, O Sahana, O Sahana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make all of therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the power and, and the glory are yours, now, now and, forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ. Peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Rejoice, O sorrowful mother. After your great sufferings, you shine forth as queen and throne beside your son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He, he has come, come to his people and set them, them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, O sorrowful mother, after your great sufferings, you shine forth as queen, and throne beside your son. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves for the Church's sake what is lacking in the suffering of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The devotees of the Our Lady of Manawa, the October Feast of the Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website at www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the Electronic Souvenir Program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. Before I give the final blessing, muli po maraming salamat sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at lalong higit sa pakikiisa po ninyo sa banal na misa. At tuloy po kayo makakaasa ng mga panalangin po namin magmula dito sa uh, mga Dominican community, dito sa Minor Basilica at para po sa inyo. But also we continue to pray for one another. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing po ng mga may sakit and for, to be followed by the prayer ng, for the blessing in ng inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, you, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, we pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.